Naya Rivera's family has settled their wrongful death lawsuit against Ventura County and others, more than a year and a half after the Glee star tragically drowned in California's Lake Piru. According to Ventura County records, the late actress's estate filed a notice of the settlement last Thursday. An attorney representing the estate and Naya's son, Josie, told NBC News in part in a statement, through this settlement, Josie will receive just compensation for having to endure the drowning of his beloved mother at Lake Piru. Though the tragic loss of Josie's mother can never truly be overcome, we are very pleased that the monetary settlement will significantly assist Josie with his life beyond this tragedy. The settlement is subject to approval by Ventura County Superior Court at a March 16th court date. The wrongful death lawsuit was first filed against the county, United Water Conservation District, and Parks and Recreation Management in November of 2020, four months after Naya's tragic passing. The initial complaint, which was obtained by Access Hollywood, alleged that Naya and Josie's pontoon was not equipped with security mechanisms or life-saving flotation devices, which plaintiffs said was in direct violation of California law. It was also claimed that there were no signs or adequate warnings posted around the area related to the dangers of swimming in the lake, including strong currents, winds, underwater debris, or that others have drowned in the past. The Devious Maids actress was confirmed dead by the Ventura County Sheriff's Department on July 13, 2020, five days after she disappeared on the water during a boat outing with her son. Ryan Dorsey, Naya's ex-husband and Josie's father, has continued to keep her memory alive, as have her Glee co-stars. Last year, Amber Riley told Access Hollywood that one of the things she remembers and treasures most about Naya was her sense of humor. She was just so doggone funny. Yeah. She was, it was always, it was never a moment where I was not barely laughing being around that woman. So clever, so funny. I, I feel like eventually she would have gotten into stand up. Eventually she would have gotten into writing scripts. Like there was so much inside of her that this world didn't get to see. And so much that I got to see behind the scenes, um, the amazing mother that she is, the amazing daughter that she is, and the amazing sibling, like sister that she was to her brother and her sister. So I just, I feel very blessed that I got to see the, the, the behind the scenes. And my favorite memories of her, just like all of them, the inappropriate ones, especially. <laughs> Those are the best ones. <laughs>